not only a champion, it's also somebody that can give to the people. He is a star. He is there to give to the fans and a photo, autograph, and some, you know, uh, some, some words, some, um, something more. It's not only about winning. He is always there to give pleasure to people. When he's outside the race, when he's in the race, his goal is to uh, see people and children basically happy. What is this? Your number for the race? Um, one. One. I thought it was one. Okay, recording, please tell me your name. I'm Peter Sagan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! I think a uh, big, big respect for Tour de France and uh, give me a lot good, also bad things, but uh, it's, uh, it's always beautiful to be here and see all the crown, what, uh, what is cheering for us. It's just amazing. You want some interview? Yeah, quick one. Just your feeling about your yeah. before the first stage or your last. Uh, My feeling, I have no feelings. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, for sure. Like uh, I am very excited to be here. <laughs> what? <laughs> for a last time. It's uh, also good. I trying to enjoy every moment with people, with fans. It's uh, beautiful. So the first time I met Peter was like uh, more than 10, 12, 13 years ago, I think. We were, I was already pro, it was 2009. We were in Tour de Pologne with the Liquid Gas team. And he was really, really young, even in the face. And he, I don't think he didn't speak any languages. And the first, first time then uh, I saw him again the year after, 2010, in the first training camp with Liquigas, and uh, yeah, we start to ride together, but somehow we immediately understand that he was talented, really talented, because he was riding with us without any training, you know, in the, in the real pro peloton, doing the same effort, but uh, with less heart rate, with, and we say, okay, who is the guys? And then he grow and grow and grow. Was a uh, really uh, talented that uh, from the first moment that uh, everyone saw that it was uh, clear from uh, small categories, uh, cadet and before junior. And uh, was uh, what I heard, I never saw him. He was super technically good and uh, was a different, the direct was a different rider. Uh, I like to remember the first <laughs> green jersey to the France. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it was, it was the first time, and he didn't even understand what is going on. I mean, I mean, we were in Champs Elysees. Was last stage. We we went in the room, and <laughs> and I have these scenes in my mind. Like I'm landing on the bed, uh, completely dead about races of course and he was washing the the green jersey in the in the bathroom and they say what what are you doing eh, tomorrow i have to go to do circuit in uh, in belgium i say you have you need holiday not going around again <laughs> like it was funny because he i realized how much strong is this guy i mean in champs elysees you washing your is another level yeah as a rider, he evolved because he was winning a lot more. So uh, he was already a champion, but he exploded when he arrived in Tinko. He won the three world champions in a row, uh, Flanders, then Roubaix, and then the seven green jersey. So the evolution of the rider is very simple to see. And like a man, uh, he's a lot more mature, but uh, he's still the same Peter, always funny, uh, looks like he's not taking too seriously things, but inside he's very professional and very perfectionist. Oh, 
Taká rýchla zákruta a pamätaj, tak jak som hovoril, že na ten kila... It's not test day because it's real day. The third stage of Tour de France, the, the, there's nothing to test, it's just do. Good luck in Paris. Man. Last kilometer I went uh, out, I was in a good position, third, fourth. And after the sprinters came from left, right, and they closed it, and I just saw already crashed, but uh, luckily it didn't happen. And after I tried to go back to the front, but we went like a uh, high speed. And they touched again in the front and I just touched the brake and after it was impossible to turn back. <laughs> uh, well, what can I say? Happened. Gemai is there. Here comes Matthew van der Poel with, on his wheel, Jasper Philipsen. Philipsen now, huge crash. On yeah, it was tricky finish. Again, uh, dangerous. And I am happy I avoid the crash. Uh, in the end, was far away from victory. He's a poor winner. Uh, I win or nothing. So his uh, second place was uh, not that good for him, not enough. So uh, that this, this is uh, that uh, he's really champion who like win, only win, to be first. And when uh, he was the first, perfect. And then he was the second. Don't worry, next time I will be first. The good thing is when you are winning, that's why I am do cycling, right? To win the race is not the to lose, but uh, well, that's part of the game, like part of the life. Then uh, some years are better, some years are worse, but you have to deal with that. And uh, I think the good thing is that uh, never give up. It's hard to do worse than first two days, <laughs> but well, at least uh, we are all still on the bike, that's important, and uh, I just try to do my best. You know, always depends from situation in the sprint and from uh, how the bunch is going, and uh, I hope, I, I believe I can do better. Yeah, it's 33. <laughs> if you're thinking about, looks like that he's riding since 30 years <laughs> because he arrived and he started winning. I remember the first win in uh, Paris Nice, but he spent so much years, so much energy, and he never, never, never give up one time. And I understand the choice now to to stop because it's respectful himself to stop as a, as a champion, as a... He deserves also to, 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 to live a, as normal, because, yeah, actually the life he is doing is, is really, <laughs> it's really hard. There's always something to do, there's always appointment and stuff, maybe take uh, another direction, another way, now it's time. He's also, you know, the new generation arrive, a lot of people is winning also, he's winning less, he's not a secret. So it's a, yeah, it's a good time, he, he, I think he's happy. It was enough, it was enough and full and uh, uh, some people say no, 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 he can go longer, but uh, I know Peter, he don't like to do something only because I have to do. 
So uh, his career was full. He he did all on maximum in preparation, also in racing. He, uh, races, uh, races, he was uh, focused and fighting every day nearly for win. So it was really enough, and uh, I can say is a good moment. Zajtra start tam budete mať, alebo tam niek, no. How many times I did to massage for Peter? I don't know, it's a lot, I think. Koľko sme spolu, ja rozumiem. 12 years, I think. Since 2011. The Croatia, no, training camp. Juraj asked me, are you coming there from uni or team? National. First time I touch this champion. <laughs> As a Sonier, you need to have trust in somebody. Also, when you are new in the team and stuff, that uh, it's always important to have somebody close to you. And uh, I think I'm very confident of Maros and uh, the job what he's doing for me and uh, for the team also. We are almost close like family. <laughs> we are family, Kurva. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Me, I more prefer he have to relax in the room. We not talking a lot about the race. Sometimes yes, but not always. <clears throat> but if you have some problem, tell me what happened from day uh, for life and after. Good night, sleep a little bit. Relax. This is more better relax like we talking from the massage. Good morning. <laughs> mm. Little banana for Marlon. Everyday routine, and after I, I going to package myself only for holiday. <laughs> Good. You are still in the race, man. But yeah, for sure I am very happy to be here in the last stage to go to Paris. I think that's good for everyone who is in the bunch. Right? Definitely I'm not sad. It's good. It's good to know it's for last time. Life continue. Show must go on. Right? Then.
is done. What is done is done. Happy for that. I think uh, we did the fastest Champs Elysees race what uh, I ever done in Paris Roubaix. Uh, Paris pa <laughs> in Tour de France. Then uh, yeah, it was fast. It was uh, not the best, but uh, still I sprint for for the finish. It was not the best uh, result what I did. Happy? Oh well, I am happy that it's over. Can you do also omelette? Omelette oh, cheese? Yes. Cheese? And, and ham and cheese. Up? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Well, I'm in mood to enjoy the last race. To enjoy. Still, I'm gonna continue also next year with mountain biking, but the it's special because it's the uh, last day on the World Tour race level and uh, after I continue just with mountain bike, maybe some small road race, but uh, definitely, definitely it's not going to be in this level, then uh, yeah, it's uh, how you said, it's a special day. <laughs> uh, bravo Peter! Well, I choose. Uh, I think it's important race for our team. The, we are based in uh, Vande region, uh, region, and uh, well, it's also our sponsor. Then uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here, and uh, you know, to end my uh, road cycling career here with the team. Total Energy, Van De, and uh, to see all the fans what we have around. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to don't be there to the last race of Peter, but I'm there anyway with her, with love. Enjoy your last race, <laughs> Sagan Numbruno. <laughs> Yesterday was more than normal, so yes, a lot of friends, a lot of... Uh, Teammates, ex-teammates, and so on. Called Peter. Look, now another one. So, so yes, it's a different day, but we try to enjoy it. I don't like messages. <laughs> really? Why not? <laughs> no, because I using phone for work, not for a pleasure. Then, uh, if I am already working, it's just disturbing you. No. But uh, well, I. Uh, I'm happy and thankful for uh, people that uh, they thinking about me. It's good. The dreaming is nice, but I'm realistic. Yeah, I'm uh, here to enjoy, I'm here for people, I'm here for a team and uh, I'm happy to be here and uh, to enjoy the, the moment and atmosphere what the people are uh, doing for us and uh, obviously to do my best for the team. C'est fou, on se croirait sur, euh, sur le Tour des Flandres, c'était un peu la même, donc euh, ouais, c'est cool. Bah, après, c'est la dernière de Peter et bah, ils nous ont fait profiter aussi avec euh, tout le public qui vient là et tous les Vendéens qui sont là sur la course. Ouais, ça fait, ça rejette un petit peu de pression pour nous sur la course, mais 
de la bonne pression, on va dire. Sagan à gauche. Pour Paul Penouet, Sagan qui remonte avec dans la roue de Peter Sagan, Clément Venturini. C'est fait Victoire d'Arnaud Neymar devant Paul Penouet. Everybody thinking now uh, it's over. Like, uh, I am free. I have nothing to do. But uh, it's gonna be more to do than before. Because I'm gonna do something new. I think maybe it should be different, not not easy. It will be easy because maybe it's, it's life and you accept it. But it will be different and maybe not better, but just another things. He likes riding a bike, you know. It's not about I think maybe he's gonna tell you, but I think he loved bike, he loved the world. That's why also he's gonna change in mountain bike to, to have some more motivation to continue staying with people. Sagan, 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 Sagan. <laughs> <laughs> It's impossible to copy. It will be one and only, you know. Peter Sagan will be the, the only one. He's somebody that is not only an athlete, he's a star. He's, he's a bit apart. part.